What's up guys, Tyler here and I'm super excited to be talking about intersections today. And I'm just kidding, it's not intersections, it's inner sections. And that's right over here on the left hand side under your basic Elementor elements. And uh, so yeah, this is an Elementor free version as well as an Elementor pro version. Uh, feature that you can use in any of your websites and if you're unfamiliar with what Elementor is, Elementor is just a drag and drop website builder for WordPress. It's one of the best out there and in my opinion the best for sure. Um, the Elementor free version is free. You just go into the WordPress uh, plugin, search for it and download it right there. The Elementor Pro version is very reasonably priced. I have a link right down below in the description. And just to show you here a little bit, these are the basic features that you get right here. These, let's see, 210 right here. These are some features right here. They, they work great for just dragging and dropping and building a website. They work fantastic. Here are some of the pro, ver pro features right here. There's just so, so many different features in this. As well as in the back end, there's a whole bunch of different templates you can build out, like templates for pages, templates for your header, for your footer, for sections. It, it, there's so much really here. It's hard for me to you know explain everything. But um, yeah, if you guys are looking for any of that, pop-up builders, um, anything to just ease the whole process of building a website, Elementor is definitely, definitely a great option. And like I said, I would definitely and highly recommend Elementor Pro. The link is down below in the description if you're interested. But let's talk about intersections today. And uh, like I said, this is for both free and pro users. So what an intersection is, is basically you have your main frame that you add right here with this little plus button. You just hit a plus and this adds a main frame. And within this main frame, there is a column. So you have a column right here. You can add a main frame with two columns, three columns, four columns, and, and so on and so forth. You can adjust the size of them. I'm going to assume you already know about that if you're using Elementor. <clears throat> but basically what we're going to do is add a whole new frame inside of this column right here. So this is great if you're trying to build frames with different amounts of columns in that all within the main column. So does that make sense right here? So basically we have this main column and let's say we want to put a double two two columns within it and then below it you know another frame with three columns in it so now we have the option to have two things and three things all within the same frame or the same column so this is really kind of advanced if if you're really getting in depth but i was surprised honestly how how much i've used this since i found it and essentially how i found this is i was trying to design this right here and I just could not figure out how to bring in, I knew it was possible, but how to bring in a two columns and a single column all within the same frame. And why I needed it within the same frame is because this whole frame needs a border around it, right? And it needs a drop shadow. And so yes, I could do you know two columns right here just like this and then a single column right here. So I have two frames. And they would probably, the content would probably be close enough that it would be just fine and it would look great. Except that when you go ahead and try and put a border around it, you can't put a border around two frames or it ends up looking like, um, you know, two borders all the way around it. So um, we need it all in the same border. So what I wanted is I really wanted this to come out like this. I wanted it to be just one box with all the content. So the icon, the form, the, the little, you know, bullet points and the title all looked like it was one part of one little section. So I'm really happy with how this came out. I think it came out really nice. Um, all I did here is I went ahead and made a single column frame. So we can go ahead and replicate that right here. We'll just go ahead and go with single column frame, just like that. And then all we're gonna do is go ahead and drag in a in intersection right over here. Again, this will probably be right at the top, the first one for you. Um, I'm on a template page, so there's some different options here for me. But right over here under basic intersection, we'll drag that right in here. And that'll pop up. And so now you can see we have the main frame right here. And then we have this intersection right over here. So that's going to allow us to have different column sizes within the first column. 
So if you right click on the column, you can hit add new column and you can add multiple columns just like that. So now we have four columns all within this single first column. So why is that helpful? You're probably wondering. So let's go ahead and just do an example here. So we'll go ahead and drag in, let's just drag in a title right here. So we have a title, we'll center that, perfect. We have a title right here in the main column. And then we'll go ahead and drag in a few images right here. All right, an image there. And then I'll just right click on the image and duplicate it and drag that right over. Perfect. Okay. So we have, you know, a few, we can actually just duplicate this two more times and drag those in the columns. So we have an image. So we have four images all within one column. Okay. Now let's say we wanted to add, you know, um, maybe a title and an icon below it. Okay. So we, and we wanted them side by side. Okay. So normally this would be impossible without intersections, but because we have the intersection feature, we could go ahead and drag this right down below and we're going to put it still in that same frame, but we're going to go ahead and put a two column intersection in here and we'll add a heading right here. Perfect. Oops, that didn't quite make it in there. There we go, a heading, and then we'll just add an icon over on the right-hand side. Okay, just like that. Now you're saying, you know, you could definitely do this, you know, with multiple mainframes, and, and that would be no problem, except let's say we want to box this all in with one border and one shadow, something like that. So let's go ahead and go to the mainframe and what we need to do is essentially resize this column right here that has everything else in it. So we're going to go ahead and we want the content width under layout right here. We want the content width to be boxed. And then we're going to go ahead and adjust this just like that. And you can see all of the columns are adjusting just like that. So now if we hover over, here's the main column. It's now adjusted in size to, let's just put it at 600 right here. Okay, so it's now the main column is 600 pixels right here, adjusted right around there. But then within there, we have, you know, any kind of elements that we want, but we also have an intersection with four columns within this 600 um, pixel wide column. And then we have two columns right here, another frame with two columns right there, all within the same 600 pixel column. So that's pretty much how we do it. All we need to do is add a border. So we'll click on the column right here, go to style and border, and then we'll just go ahead and add, let's say maybe a 10 pixel thick border. We'll add a solid and there it is right there. And let's say we want to make it red for the video sake so we can see it and uh, let's make it thicker so we can really see it here. Oh, that's border radius. Excuse me. We'll go to width. <laughs> there we go. Nice and thick. Okay, so we did add a border radius, so now it's a rounded edges right here. And look at that. Just like that, we have a border all the way around the entire column. And if we click off of it here, perfect. You can see just how that works right there. We have a border all the way around. We have multiple columns inside. We have four in there in that section, and we have two in that section. And then we have just elements that are also in there. So if we want to add a shadow, we would do the same thing. Go to call the first, the main column that has everything else in it. And we would just go down to box shadow. And let's just add this maybe like, you know, a 10 and a 10. And just like that, we have our shadow. So when you click off of this, you can see it. Just like that, we have our shadow. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you use inner sections. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend using these if you have anything advanced such as this. You need to fit a lot of content in a single area and you definitely want to add a border or shadow something to box it all in and keep it all kind of congruent in one area. So if you guys, if this has been helpful for you guys, be sure and drop a like on this video and be sure and join the fam. Hit that subscribe button and join the fam and be notified of all videos just like this or not. Just, just be notified when you want. Look us up and uh, be sure and check out these videos all about Elementor and Elementor Pro. Thank you guys for watching and take care.